Hey, my little kitty, kitty. Hey, little, my little kitty. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> hey, what's up, y'all? Eric here, aka Cloud, and today I'd like to welcome y'all to the new episode of Judgment. So far, you can see my other two episodes. The playlist will be in the description of my YouTube channel. Please check it out. Those who are new at Twitch stream, please don't forget to follow and subscribe to my YouTube. If y'all miss my live stream right now, you got you can more welcome to join the YouTube or repo re uploaded this streaming into YouTube. So yes, here we are. Without further ado, let's get it started. Bye bye, little kitty. Okay, let's go. We're forward to uh in contact. Can't pronounce it, sorry. Let's go. Excuse me. Ah, oh, great. All right, one on three. Let's go. Let go. Hey. <laughs> nice try, jerk. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Oh, that's more like it. Let's go. Find anything? Sure did. Marase spilled the beans over at the Kyore hideout, a place called KJ Art. And you made it out of there in one piece? Incredible. All in a day's work, Shintani Sensei. So, according to Marase, Moore was empty at midnight on the third. That directly contradicts the prosecution's assertion that Hamuro was beating Kume to death at the time. Well, that's a hell of a find. But is Marase going to testify? That's not that easy. Uh, it never is. Either way, Marase is telling the truth. I found something that backs his story up. Hmm? This is a moor. Three hours after Hamura took Kume. Midnight. Take a good look at the edge of the screen. We don't see any of them go inside, so I thought nothing of it. But the stories match up. Marase and his guys went to a moor to take Kume back. And they left empty-handed. So they saw the camera, then head back to the door. Head to the back door. Uh, sounds like we need to talk to Captain Hamura. There are too many unanswered questions. Agreed. I'll set up another visit. Give me a call once you do. Uh, 
All right. Yagami-san, you spoke to Mafio, yes? Huh? Yeah, why do you ask? She seemed happy. It had been a while since she last saw you. Oh, cool. But she looks sad, too. Sad? Or why? As do I. See you later. Yeah, you too. Alright. Get out of here. Wait for a call. So since we're waiting for a call, I'll do whatever I want to do. Probably do some side missions. For friends, maybe. I think I've seen one over there at this, uh... This Limburger. Hmm. Hello, welcome to Smile Burger, home of the free smile. Hey, thank you. Hmm. Oh, they look good, I'm not gonna lie. Let's try this one. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey you, over there. I don't know, I don't mean to startle you, but could you show me a smile? Mm -hmm. Huh? Why? Well, we decided to host an event that fosters friendship between Smile Burger and the local community allows me, the local community, allow me to explain. First, each guest can take a smile shot with one of our small staff members. Then, we post it on a snapshot, go up and show our official smile site. <laughs> and finally, our other customers can go online and vote who has the winning grin. Simple enough. Huh? Wait, you're going to upload our picture online? Hi. Yes. And the campsite for all the blitz breach and privacy. The winner gets the our first dibs at the ah try the secret menu. You still have to pay the food though. Nah. So after forcing us to smile and upload the pictures on the online, you still want to take your money. Uh, Sir, if you could turn it upside, turn, turn turn that file upside down. <laughs> why not? Why not? Why you not giving us a smile instead? <sighs> Man, oh, all I want is a burger. Now I get them to this. Come on, don't be like that. How about take the picture of yours truly? The name's. Pennies. By the way. Okay. Sure. Why not? Alright, fine. A, a sucker. I'm the sucker for the secret menu. Great! <laughs> then, let's get started. We're gonna take a- take this one right up in front. And let's see the handsome smile. I know. Maybe I'm trying. I'm trying. Maybe try to laugh. Okay. <laughs> I had to take a selfie. Okay, no problem. Uh. There you go. Well, it wasn't terrible. After your smile, we still need a little bit of work. Are you, are you are you not a natural per happy person? Nah. Hey, you asked me the best smile then, and then you came into my life like that? No, Flower, please. <laughs> Just keep up the grin on your chin and up forward to the results. Okay. 
Okay then, I made a new friend. That's nice. Okay, so what else are we going to? Hmm. What's this place? Right now, open. How come I won't get in? Wait, do I? Please tell me I have to go in like this. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, 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 help! Someone bring... Bring the translator. Hmm? Translator? What's, uh, what's, what's she talking Excuse about? Excuse me. Hey, is everything alright? No, it isn't. I don't understand what this guy is saying. Please help me, help the girl out. Pardon me, but do you happen to know where the... Um, Lavatory is. Hmm. Hmm. I always be. I'm. I'm always good at basic English. Should I try? Should I take it over from here? Hey, all you want to know is where the restroom is. Oh, it's outside in the cafe. Hmm. English. That would be. It's right outside the cafe. You can't miss it. It's excellent. Thank you very much. That's... that went pretty well. Oh, I wasn't too rusty. I'm sorry about that, sir. In another word, it really caught me off guard. I always thought it would be just a toilet in English. Well, at least you know the basics. Sometimes it's hard to define or to mind. The best word to say. Yeah, I do like language, but I haven't haven't been steady for long. Gotcha. So you're a student right now? Oh. Yeah, I'm actually in college. I I've been thinking about working overseas for a while too. Once I graduate, anyways, I decided to start working here. You get some, get some more speaking practice. You know, the hotel generally have a lot of foreigners customers. Not a bad idea. Well, keep it up and maybe your English will be improved. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you for today's lesson. Oh, can I ask your name? It's me. Yeah. It's a Kenogi Yamaki. Yamaki. I can do uh, Sandra. It's really nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. Likewise. Well, keep it up. Well, I will. I hope I'll see you next time. All right, we made another new friend. Hello, sir. Mm -hmm. How about the beef plate? Arigatogodamashita. I'll look for something else to do.
to eat something before I could talk to the people? Huh. Well. I'll find something else to do. If I get injured, then I'll uh, find something. I'll find I'll find me. Hey. Kamara's ready for us. Take a cab over to the Kamarocho police station. Will do. Thanks. Okay. Ah, great. Doing this. Oh well. Yes, please. Uh... Thank you. Hmm. When the fuck am I getting out of here, Tuck? Don't ask me. Shintani Sensei's your lawyer, remember? Amara-san, got something to show you. December 3rd. 11.55 p.m. A Kyore man by the name of Murase comes to a moor to rescue Kume. Not wanting to be seen by the cameras, he goes in through the back. And? Murase said there wasn't a soul in sight. Well, yeah. I'd already hopped over to the sauna. And what did you do with Kume? I already told you I threw him out the back. And before that? Huh? Around 10 o'clock, you kicked everyone else out so you could be alone with Kume. I have testimony to back that up. Why'd you do it, though? What can I say? I guess Kume reminded me of an old friend. I must have been feeling nostalgic. Who knows, though? I was pretty plastered. He's suddenly getting the... Even put the... Put the... I'm so drunk again. To remember a card. That's so. Did you need to kick everyone out just for that? Uh, I told you I was drunk. Who knows what I was thinking? Well, you seem to remember other parts clearly, though. Like when you left the club. What are you getting at? For a so-called innocent man with an alibi, your story has an awful lot of holes. Oh, yeah? You wouldn't hide something from us, would you? Of course not. Something like the true killer's identity? I said I'm not hiding shit! Now get the hell out there and prove my alibi! I was at the sauna all night long! Prove that and I'm in the clear! Okay then, calm down. I need down. to have a backup plan in case your alibi doesn't pan out. But I can't help you if you're gonna hide things from your lawyer. You're suspected of abducting a rival clan member, gouging his eyes out and dumping him in an alleyway. 
They'll lock you up and toss the key if we can't win this. Has that thought even crossed your mind? Or are all Yakuza just that fearless in the face of a life sentence? Fear has nothing to do with it. But like hell am I gonna beg you to save me. Then who would you beg? <laughs> None of your business. It's only a matter of time, Hamura. I'll figure out what you're hiding. Hey, Yagami! Yo, sounds like you've been busy. Had a little chat with Hamra. Wasn't real productive. Figures. He's keeping something from us. There might be more to this case than we thought. So what? You telling me we hit a dead end? More or less. Need more to work with. Specifically... Like what Hamura and Kume did after leaving Amur. Eyewitness testimony. We don't have time to scour the city for leads, though. Hey, how much money you got? How much you need? You'll need 30k or so. I've got this friend, a local detective on the force. He'll tell you anything for the right price. Anything? <laughs> anything. Guy's an informant. You want the dirt only cops have access to. He's the guy you hit up. So you're saying he's a dirty cop? That X, uh, Yandaksa, where are you? The underground police into sounds usual. Name's Info. I. He's a regular over Sorry. at Tender. Info, really? sorry about that. Yeah. Surprised you never run into him there. It's where everyone goes to meet him. Try asking your pal Masuda. Okay. Let's go. Hello, kitty. Please bring. Ah, great. Now, you're asking for it. Oh, thank you for the money. Oh, that's how you... okay. The other side, Dan, sorry. Have a sec? Of course. What do you need? I'm looking for a detective. Ayabe. You know him? Sure do. He hasn't been by in a few days, though. Why? Ah, uh, damn. Guess I came at the wrong time. Had to come back later. Hopes this guy was worth it. Trouble. It's okay. I'll let him know you were looking for him. Why don't you have a drink or two in the meantime? First one's on me. What's all this? <clears throat> Just buttering you up. Remember when I mentioned someone who had a job for you? Yeah, what of it? Well, turns out they won't have one for you after all. Sorry. Apparently the client was trying to get back at some Yakuza who sucker punched him. And he wanted me to do what? Not sure. Doesn't matter now anyway. Why, did he go all vigilante on him? Not exactly. Sounds like the Yakuza ended up behind bars. We're killing a man. 
and gouging his eyes out. Huh? Wait a second. Captain Hamura. Surprised? Though, so now that you mention it, I remember something about a host getting smacked in the face that night. By a Yakuza? Yep. Don't think he got hurt too bad, though. Pretty sure it happened right around midnight. Anything else you can tell me? Sorry, but that's all I've got. I'll have to ask the guy directly. That this Yaksa who punched the host of the sauna was Hamura. Then the might be an ally. Alright. Should I talk to the host? I should ask Is the host. <laughs> Man by the name of Seiya. He's a host over at Club Stardust on Tenkaichi Street. That's where I'd look. Thank you, bartender. You're awesome. All right. Excuse me. Sorry. Money. Oh, eight thousand, eight thousand yen. Thank you. So eight thousand yen. I know the uh, the dollar of a hundred yen. So that could be like around eighty bucks. I think, if I were correct. Hey, you have a sec? Depends. What do you need? I'm looking for someone who works here. Think I could talk to Seiya for a sec? Seiya-san, huh? No can do. Not today. Is he off today? Not quite. He's out on a date with a customer. Damn. He could be practically anywhere then. Third day in a row, too. He's got it wrapped around his finger. Yeah, that's great. Any idea when he'll be back? No clue. I doubt he went far, but that's all I've got. All right, cool. Thanks anyway. The uh, first, the first owner of the Umber is now this guy. Maybe I can find him the same before and it's worth a shot. Yo, Sukumo. Oh, hey, Yagamishi. What's up? I, uh... I need something. Think you can do another message search for me? Sure. Just hit me with the keywords you need. Hmm. Let's go with Stardust and Seiya. Oh, and let's limit the search history to just today. Got it. Give me just a second here. It's working. It's working. <laughs> I'll just push this to your screen. Oh, it might have worked too well. Any other keywords you want to narrow this down by? Hmm. Uh, let's see. Uh, sheesh. This could be a pill. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Maybe, uh, oh boy. Date. Oh, that did the trick. Great. Should be easy to check these out myself. Thanks, Sukumo. I'm sure you'll find your pretty boy in no time. Okay. So, yep. Yeah, that's right. He's on a date. So, alright. So, I know it's a street location. So, let's just start one at a time. Maybe we'll find him. Let's start with this port real quick.
Change main. Excuse me, ma'am. What? I'm looking for a host named Seiya. Works at Stardust. Huh? What do you want with Seiya? Uh, I need to ask him something. I heard he was on a date around here. Did you say date? Who's the bitch he's cheating on me with? Oh, uh, you know what? Never mind. It's fine. Okay. It is not fine? What the hell is going on? Oh, uh, look at the time. Gotta run. Peace out. It doesn't look like the say is here. Okay. Well, worth a shot. Okay, so... Next location. Um... Okay, it's not that far from here, so... So, say as a cheater. Uh-oh. Looks like, uh, we have a, a new episode of Cheaters. Oh, we can do cheaters, I have to do with this. Thin wire. <clears throat> Alright. And stay down. There you go. As I was saying, yeah. <laughs> Looks like we have a new episode of Cheaters. If you haven't seen Cheaters, so leave a comment to let me know. And rest in peace, Clark Gable. Hmm. Ah, there she is. Excuse me, ma'am. What is it? I'm looking for a host named Seiya. Works at Stardust. Wait, you know Seiya kun? Is he alright? We were gonna go on a date tonight, but he never showed. I'm kinda worried. Huh? I'd heard he was on a date around here too, but I guess that means it wasn't with you. Uh, better luck next time? Wait, what? Seikun's out with another girl? Sounds like it, but don't take it too hard. I'm sure you'll bounce back. Oh, thank goodness he's safe. I thought he'd gotten into an accident or something. I wonder if he's having fun on his date. As long as he's happy, I'm happy. It doesn't look like it doesn't look like Seiya's here. I should try that new location. Alright, it's my last stop. Please let me find Seiya. Hmm. I hope Seiya can get here soon. Wait a sec, you mean Seiya, that host from Stardust? Are you from the club? Uh, no, sorry. I'm just looking for Seiya. I'd ask where he is, but it looks like you know as much as I do. Hey, are you implying my Seiya-kun stood me up? I'm sure he's just taking his time getting ready. He'll be here any minute. Uh-huh. How long have you been waiting anyway? I... I... <laughs> I shouldn't have asked. Excuse me. This is like he's doing. I should try somewhere else. Oh, Yagamishi. Did you manage to track down that host of yours? Nope. Struck out on all three leads. Huh. How about giving it another try? Nah, I'm good. I'll figure out some other way. Don't be such a sourpuss, Yagamishi. I bet there have been more posts since earlier. Doubt that's gonna change much. But sure, why not? Let's see what you got. <laughs> Let's start with the same keywords from before. See that? New hit! <laughs> the landscape of social media changes every second. Apparently they posted it only a minute ago. <laughs> that's not a hot lead. I don't know what is. Alright, I'll check it out. Thanks for everything, Tsukumo. <laughs> not a problem. <laughs> Alright, this is my last resort.
Donna's better be there while freaking bust the cap. Have you get running? You almost get beat up. Ugh, this better be worth it. Stay down. Now, this guy better be there. Hey, say ya, right? From Stardust? Huh? Sorry to butt in. You have a sec? You'll have to excuse me, my child. I won't be long. Hey, is everything okay? Don't worry. It'll all be fine. Mind stepping outside, Yagami-san? Wait. You know who I am? I do. The owner over at Tender told me about you. Thought I'd ask you to do me a favor. You want to get back at a Yakuza who hit you, yeah? Yes. He said you might be able to manage something. A disgraced ex-lawyer who's not afraid to get his hands a little dirty? Sounds like you're pretty well known yeah. in Kamurocho. So that's what people say about me? One more thing. This is just a rumor, but uh, I hear you'll do anything for your clients. You even got a murderer off the hook, right? Oh, did I say something wrong? No, it's all right. Anyway, you said Captain Hamra hit you? That's right. When? The night of December 3rd. The day of the murder. You're sure? Yes. Funny enough, I've been hired to look into Hamra's case. This story of yours could be key evidence. That's so. Not sure I want to be the guy who sets him free. I know you two have a history, but I need this. Please. How could I say no to a celebrity like you? It's fine. Yes, I might be able to prove the Hamra's allies now. What time did you run into Hamra? I think around midnight. Out in front of Kyushu Number One Star. Not the busiest place. Kyushu Number One Star? Isn't that near Sonic Goten? Yeah, it is. Mind telling me more? Why do he hit you in the first place? <laughs> Wish I knew. The guy reeked of booze, though. I was just walking down the street when I noticed him coming towards me. He was like, mumbling to himself or something. Kinda scary shit. I tried to avoid him, but he just barreled towards me anyway. And how many times did he hit you? Just the once. He left a fucking nasty bruise, though. Knocked one of my fillings clean out, too. A filling, huh? Did you go to the dentist? Huh? Yeah, the next day. Then you'll be in their records. That'll corroborate your testimony. 
Ah, so that's what you were getting at. Moving on, what did Hamura do after he hit you? He stumbled away into a sauna, that Goten place you mentioned. So just to recap, he hit you around 12, and then headed into sauna Goten. Yes. The old guy at the sauna got to Goten says that uh, there's no one left in the place until this morning. And as long as I can prove Hamura was here, we'll have our alibi. Oh yeah, the cops mentioned something kind of similar. Can I count on your testimony in court? No problem. It'd be nice to have the great Yagami-san owe me a favor. Maybe Masuda could give me a few freebies too. <laughs> sure, I'll ask him. <laughs> hey, one more thing. Did you see any security cameras around when you ran into Hamura? Video evidence would lock this up for me. Hmm. Couldn't say. I don't usually look for that stuff. Right. Well, thanks anyway. I'll be in touch. Of course. See ya. So it went down in front of the Kashu number one star. That's the best lead I got right now. Let's hold this. Have the camera. All right. <clears throat> All right, let's go. Hello? Yo, it's me. Find Ayabe yet? Negative. But I did track down someone who had a run-in with Hamura. Yeah? Is it good news? His alibi might be more airtight than we thought. You're kidding me. Just around midnight on the day of the crime, this guy Seiya got hit by Hamura, then saw him go to the sauna. It was apparently right by Kyushu hmm. number one star. If they have a security camera, it would have caught everything. I'm heading to check it out now. Hold on, isn't that near KJR? Those Kyore guys won't be happy to see you. I was worried about getting seen. I'd never leave the office. Huh. Fair enough. Later. All right, let's go. Excuse me. Dang it, bike. Sorry. This is where uh, say I uh, got hit. Huh? What the? There's a camera. But there is a camera. I was in there. Yeah. Hey, the kitty. I know, I know I'm in the middle of doing the case. I want to look for that kitty. Is kitty suspicious ah yeah. oh, cute little kitty all right sorry <laughs> hey 
you. Oh, great. Here he goes. I know you, boy. Marase. What a coincidence. Clear your schedule, because I'm going to take my time with you. Boys! Get this fucker back to the office! I really don't have time for this. Yo, talk! Oh, thank you. Thank you, Kato. Where are you? Oh, yeah, that's my man. Come on! That was pretty sweet, man. Hey, you want to try helping out? Sure thing. My turn! You two fuckers are going down now! Now, nah, how about you are going down? Oh, really? A sword? Okay. Guess how you want to play? Then let's play. Hey, let me do this real quick. Uh, I'll buy some more stuff. Can he just...
Ugh, it's about time. Please tell me you found something. You did, right? I think I did. Check out that camera. We're in the clear if the thing puts Hamra here at midnight. And if it doesn't? Let's, let's try and stay optimistic. Well, camera, you got good news for us or what? All right. This video is. shows everything you need to see. My client, Hamarasan, drunkenly attacked this passerby on the night of the murder. Then, after the altercation, that same passerby watched Hamarasan walk into Sana Goten. Tokyo District Courthouse. Nobody came out of the building after that until the train started in the morning meaning the defendant was accounted for during the hours in question. The defense asserts that this video establishes a clear alibi, which can only be seen as proof of Hamarasan's innocence. To that end, I have a question for the prosecution. Did you have any prior knowledge of this video before the trial began? I assure you that we reviewed all the relevant footage from the sauna. And yet the defendant was nowhere to be found, counsel. At least so I was told. Meaning, you never actually went to examine the site personally then. Would you say that's correct? Yes. My associates took care of that. Nonetheless, the defense's video is far too blurry to clearly identify either participant. There's no way to tell whether the man in the footage was the defendant or just a random pedestrian. Thank you very much. In that case, the defense would like to call a witness to the stand. Seasan, do you claim you're the person in this video? That someone assaulted you that night? Is that accurate? Yes. It is. Now tell us, this person who assaulted you, are they here in the courtroom? Witness? Is there a problem? I, um... Hmm? I must have... Uh, been mistaken. I am the one getting hit in the video. But as to who the other guy was... I can't say. Excuse me. Your Honor, a uh, recess, if you don't mind. Now that's uh, really unkosher. What happened in there? I, I, I can't do it. I'm so sorry. But why? You were all ready to go this morning. I got a phone call earlier. Go on. It said it was from my sister, but there was a strange man on the line. He said his name was Marase. Told me you know him, Yagami-san. Marase? And he told you not to testify? Yes. He said if I did, if I did, I'd never see my sister again. Got it. What are you doing, Yagami? Calling the police? Kaito-san, it's me. Those KJ art guys took Seiya's sister. 
I'm heading over there now. Could use a hand. What the hell are you doing? We're in the middle of a trial here. A trial doesn't mean shit if you can't protect your witness. Uh. Buy me as much time as you can. I'll get Seiya's sister back. I'm the one who dragged you into this. I'll be the one to drag you out. Promise. So the guys who took this guy took Seiya's sister. So, don't worry. Back time, he says. He knows this is a court, right? We know. We got. Hopefully, we got time. We need to get to his sis, get to Seiya's sister. New info. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Oh, you boy, are here he goes. Let's just get this over the rest of the Really? There we go. And stay down. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> Yo, it's Kaito. I'm here. Where are you? I'm right around the corner. Place looks kind of deserted. Lines down and everything. Are we sure this is where they got her? They're from Kansai, remember? They can't have that many hideouts. Plus... Plus what? I bet there's a reason all the blinds are down. If anything, that makes it more suspicious. I guess you've got a point. Anyways, I'll be up on the roof again. See you soon. Still here. can't get eyes on what's in there. Got any bright ideas? Well, we can't just barge in. Who knows how many of them are in there? No way I'm getting away with the disguise now, either. Then... I guess we gotta sneak in. That's the only way. <laughs> I had a feeling. I've got a plan. Yeah? Lay it on me. First, I'll make a big scene out front. And when they're distracted, you sneak in and get the girl. That's your big plan? Pretty good, huh? Uh, sure. How are you gonna do it? You'll see soon enough. Just remember, both our asses are on the line here. I won't forget. So, the girl's in there, yeah? Let's go bring her home. Right. I'll go look for a way in. Let you know when I find one. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hey, where's nice. that asshole Morase? Name's Kaito, ex Matsugane. Bring him out, or I'll burn this shit down. Oh yeah, go on. I dare you. Just stay right there, punk. That's your plan, huh? Gota, this is your chance. On it. Don't die, okay? You really stuck around? You should have bailed when you had the chance. You're pretty fucked now. Dumbass! Who the fuck are you? I said I wanted Morase. You fucking scrubs ain't worth my time. Get Morase! Well, while well, they distract it, let's get going. Okay. Change routines, you said be. Almost there. Nice. Got it. All right. Nope. Can't get to this one. Uh, 
has a lot it's locked but i should be able to open it oh right okay okay i think i'm starting to get in now just call the wire should have one left okay so i had to be i guess i had to be extremely careful Almost there. Perfect. Ah. Okay. Who the hell are you? We're not getting out of here alive. Uh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay. He asked for it. You, where's the girl you took? I don't know nothing, honest. I'm new here. They don't tell me shit. Huh? Then you're useless to me. Oh. No way to go but up. Can't bring the weapons? Oh, that's boring. Well, let me look around quick before we go in into... Any further. Oh. I'm gonna trash this office place. Nah, I don't wanna do that. Let's just uh, go up. Almost there. Uh, Got it. Bingo. Die! Oh, you're done for, bitch. Okay, this is all unfair. A sword? Come on. Uh... 
There you go. I'm telling you, what's up with people hoarding swords? Almost there. Nice. Perfect. Oi, Kura! Easy. Really, guys? I'm about to broke their TV. Oh well. Oh shit! <clears throat> now, tell me what I want to know, or else. Where's the girl? Where's the girl? She's. Up in the reception room. Got it. Appreciate the honesty. And what's the code to the door? What's the code for the reception room? Like I tell you. Oh! Better start I don't talking. Have time for your games. Understand? I'm gonna ask you again. What's the code to the reception room? One. Three, seven, zero. Well, that wasn't so hard. Thanks. Kick him. Kick him. I knew. Let's see. Stupid thing. That'll do it. Almost there. Nice. Almost there. Got it. Alright, thirteen seventy. You're Seiya's sister, right? Don't worry. You're safe now. Yagami! When the hell did you get here? Let the girl go. Right now. What do you mean, let her go? The girl can leave whenever she wants. We don't have her tied up or nothing. I get it. It's all fine if you aren't keeping her captive, right? Just have to make her stay here until the trial's over. You really thought this one through. But that's not going to work. Huh? Confinement is a crime whether or not your captive is tied up, idiots. Shut your trap! You know, false imprisonment will get you between three months and seven years. Maybe even longer if you hurt the victim. Guess you'll have to take a little dip in an acid bath then. No body, no crime. Huh. <laughs> Intimidation too? Tack on another year. You piece of... Come on! Let's make sure this asshole never talks again! Okay. No swords, that's fine by all means. Let's do this.
go hmm. that's what I'm talking about Ugh. come on not so fast Yagami Arase son hasn't this gone on long enough you're only gonna make things worse for yourself Amara has an alibi. Someone else clearly killed Kume. There's no reason for you to keep Seiya from testifying. But if Amara didn't murder Kume, who did? I'm not sure, but Amara might have an idea. He must have been working with the real murderer. What? That's right. The cell facts point to Amara's involvement. The night of the crime. Kume went into Amor and just disappeared, right? He didn't contact you. Nobody saw him. He didn't even show up on any security footage. The way I see it, Kume never left Amor. In other words, Hamra must have handed him over to the real murderer. While Hamra was at the sauna making an alibi for himself, someone else was murdering Kume and gouging his eyes out. <sighs> It almost makes sense. If Hamura ends up behind bars, I'll never be able to prove that theory. So what? You want to let Hamura walk? Better that than threaten a girl to stop someone from testifying. Besides, I thought you were above shit like this. <sighs> Alright, just get out of here. You got guts for a detective. Huh. <laughs> Thanks. The rest is up to... Amuro-san is the one punching me in this video. Same man standing here today. I remember now. There's no doubt in my mind. So, you retract your earlier statement? Yes. My apologies. Your Honor, clearly this witness has no credibility. How does the defense respond? I admit, the witness was shaken up before. But I believe that's a perfectly understandable response. This is his first time in court, after all. I have no doubts regarding his credibility. This Stardust establishment. It's a host club, yes? How long have you been employed there? About two years. 
For that short a time frame, you seem to have an awful lot of trouble with your customers. Huh? I'm not sure what you mean. Several of them have approached you in hopes of marriage, have they not? They come spending huge sums of cash, so you act like you're ready to seal the deal. You say whatever it takes to make them happy in the moment, but your story changes once things start to get real. Five women have filed reports with the Consumer Affairs Bureau, and those are just the ones who have stepped forward. Can we really trust the words of such a manipulative man? With these character traits in mind, I sincerely doubt the credibility of the witness's testimony. And if the witness is indeed lying, the defendant's alibi is invalid. That is all. How does the defense respond? I'd like to continue on the topic of credibility. Mind if I ask you a few questions, prosecutor? Go ahead. First, allow me to fast forward the security footage to just a few days after the crime. Oddly enough, we'll be looking at the exact day the prosecution filed their suit. Hmm. Isn't that you, prosecutor? Uh, yes. And in this footage, you're reenacting the altercation that took place between the defendant and our witness, yes? What? No. Well, that's strange. You stated earlier that you hadn't seen any footage from the camera near the sauna. Then, how would you be able to reenact things exactly as they went down? You also claimed you did not inspect the area yourself. Uh -oh. It seems that wasn't the truth. Why are you hiding the truth from us, prosecutor? <laughs> You're wrong! As you can see, the original footage isn't exactly clear. I would understand if you would deny that the defendant was the man who punched our witness. But instead, you claimed you hadn't seen the footage at all. If I had to guess, when you first saw the footage, you realized Hamra might have been the other man. At the very least, you couldn't rule out the possibility. So you lied, I would say. <laughs> that, that's not true. Can we be sure that what you say is credible? You've already lied outright in a court of law. And unfortunately for you, there's only one person who thinks the defendant is guilty. And that's you, prosecutor. Well, that is... The night Kume got murdered, Hamura was holed up in Sauna Goten till morning. The footage from the security camera, Hamra's alibi, Seiya's testimony, it all lined up. With a story that airtight, there's no chance he could have killed Kume. We find the defendant, Kyohei Hamra, innocent. I will now clarify the reasoning behind this decision. Defendant, please be seated. The judge was right. Hamura definitely didn't kill Kume. But he had to have been involved. Meanwhile, the real killer is still out there, hiding in the shadows of Kamurocho, murdering Yakuza, gouging their eyes out, retreating into his den. So, I've given him a name. The Mole. The Mole. Now, Hamura is released to custody. The lawyer's job is done once he proves the defendant innocent. But me? I'm not a lawyer. Not anymore. Meaning my search for the truth only ends when I say it does. My office might be small, but that doesn't mean I don't have a reputation to uphold. In other words, I'll do whatever it takes to bring Hamura and the Mole down.
of his release, but he's still working for the real killer. So the real killer did this. Yagami-san. Nice seeing you. Gorgeous day. How's the detective business been treating you lately? Yeah, I knew you'd show up here, Hattori. Listen, I'm not in the mood for your shit today. Ah, but it's my journalistic duty to hear what you have to say. It's not personal, just trying to do my job, okay? Hattori, a freelance journalist. Well, I've already seen what your so-called job produces. Fraudulent lawyer lets a murderer walk. Helpless girl suffers the consequences. <laughs> you and I both know. You're the only reason the girl died. You just had to go and set that killer free, didn't you? And the good people who raised her still suffer for it. You can't be coming back now. What would her poor family have to say to that, huh, Yagami-san? No need to worry about that. If you say so. Hmm. See you around then. All right, so uh, I guess uh, that is the chapter one of uh, Judgment. Now it's going to be chapter two. Well, we're going to stop right here, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Hope y'all do enjoy. Leave a like and awesome comment. Tell me what y'all think. You can see my other episodes. The playlist will be in the description. And... Hit the sub button, follow Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok in the description. Hope you all do enjoy. And as always, see y'all next time and stay safe.